Yo guys, welcome back to a new format. I wanted to start, as you might know, I am participating in the Challenger Cup tournaments. Um, basically all of the tournaments I can get into today. There is another one, a 64 player tournament. I can quickly get this Discord app up here on the screen, which uh, I'm currently in on round number one. And this will be, a, this video will run until I either lose and losing means that I go like, um, I, I basically lose one time out of these three Swiss rounds that we are playing today or I win the complete tournament. We are playing three Swiss rounds and then top eight for playoffs. Uh, and uh, we will also win prizes when we reach, I think, top four. So yeah, three rounds and you basically can scoop and leave the tournament the moment that you go as 0 and 1 because then it's very unlikely that you will reach um, the playoffs. I'm playing against Wintermite, who is somebody I have played against before and which is a very good player. Um, someone I know from the top card who definitely makes top card a lot so could be an interesting first round i'm going to play a math mech here uh, we can quickly check the deck uh, my math mech going first variant here uh, which um, as you can see by drawing this this random hand we have a really good hand we have a really good chance of getting um the strong cards that we want though now that i look at this deck i think that um i need to change something up here uh we will start in seven minutes don't you worry i will not talk seven minutes i will cut to the moment where we will then start um but um double draw and lockbird is not something i had in here if i remember this correctly so i quickly have to check my deck list though it seems to be okay honestly uh we will have to check here so yeah we are taking place in this tournament today and um i will leave the, uh, the as you can see here this is different ah the kaiju is missing the kaiju i have not put the kaiju back in if you want to take part in these tournaments, I will put the link to the Discord in the description. I have done this in the last video as well. Oh, it's not the Kaiju actually. But anyways, I will check this out. I will um, find uh, the correction for this deck and we will see each other when we hop into the first round. All right, we have one minute left until we start. Just to quickly talk to you, uh, we are in this 64-46 uh, <laughs> player tournament. The cool thing about this is you can like quickly join here and as I already said, if you then lose your first game, which we will just go against Mittermeid in a moment and it might just be over in like five minutes or even less if we, I don't know, don't win the coin toss, have a really bad hand. It really depends, uh, obviously, but we might also just go 3-0. and I have been in the top card of... Uh, uh, um, 46 tournament uh, plays a lot um, also in the top card of bigger tournaments a lot as I recently have made a video about nearly winning a PlayStation 5 in a big 512 player tournament uh, which obviously is, is way more easy and we can begin there was the sound uh, from the Discord app so we are going to study and hopefully win the coin toss obviously this is quite impactful and don't ever get fooled by Okay, we are going second, but okay, maybe we draw Maxi, maybe our opponent, I don't know, maybe we can stop him, maybe he doesn't go full combo, and I just realized that I have to tune down the volume a bit here, it's a bit loud, but let's first check whether we draw Maxi that we want to, okay, we have no interruptions here, <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about, right? I just want to show you the reality of, of participating in these tournaments and what it means to play a tournament, because it also means that sometimes a tournament ends really fast, right? Um, if you want to 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 like reach the top cut or maybe win the tournament that is if you just want to play and have fun then that's obviously a different thing but um, you can can also be the case that your opponent bricks in this case he didn't really brick but obviously he will go for like unicorn unicorn so he he will have a kashtiwa rice out here right and um we have a kaiju in the deck that we could get to with our small world but we have no small world at the moment and obviously an Arisa that banishes everything is a big problem. So I would get, I would guess this goes into an Arisa, right? Because you go Kashira Theosis, go Fenrir, and then you could search, you could search Skaglor Kashira, summon Skaglor Kash. Then okay, you could also could also be an Arisa and a Fenrir on the end board, which definitely would be something that we probably will not break with this hand though the hand is not bad we have like a diameter for normal star although we can't use the diameter because everything will get banished but we have a sigma that we can summon we have an like the extender addition we have a normal summon we have a paralytic seat a zone summoning opportunity so could be worse oh he goes shangri ira interesting 
Um, okay. And he banishes Shangri Ira. Wait. Am I missing something? How does he get the. How, do, how, how does he activate this? Oh, he takes. Oh, okay, ta okay, okay. He takes this one, takes the unicorn or the Fenrir back to the field. By the way, there is a small opportunity um, and that you could also reach the top card not being 3 0. But that's very unlikely. The other thing about it is basically it's nearly impossible because if you. Wow, this. What? Oh, so he goes. Okay, he goes for. What? Okay, I'm really confused now. Which, this is definitely a problem because um, our access core talker, OTK line, will. Um, this will be tough for our access core talker line because we cannot get rid of these. We have an Ash, right? It's more or less... Don't have a Zeus that will not really help us. So we are Ashing this, I think. Because... Saving the Ash for like a later turn where we can Ash, I don't know, the Fenrir or something... I think does not really get us anywhere. It's really nice that we do not... Um, that there is not the uh, rise out on the field. So now we have to think about how we want to start this. We could obviously start with Sigma and Addition um, and then go into... Uh, uh, I mean, we have to start somewhere. So let's start with a, let's start with Sigma here. I mean, obviously you can just banish this with the Fenrir. And I, I, I mean, oh no, the Big Bang is here. Oh, he also has a Maxi, though that we can call it by. The problem is that we can't really clear the Shangri Iras. That's the problem. So maybe we should have uh, let the Shang mm, Shangri Ira through and then Ash the Shangri Ira next turn after clearing everything. And then he only would have the Shangri Ira, maybe? Let's see whether he banishes this with the Fenrir. He might. Okay, he does. That's okay. We have more follow up. And depending on what this is, that's. It should already be his last interruption. So we are now going addition here. We do not want to add on the Fenrir, though it probably will not make a difference. Can get a Lingerie out. So, I, because I want to get this into the grave, uh, well, let's get the Lingerie out so we can avoid a potential trap. And we can summon our parallels. And we have the Dimeter resummoning the addition. And then we have, we have stuff. Though, as I already said, the problem is that. Oh, we might. We have to destroy so much, right? We. Our access code talker line. Our access code talker can only destroy so many monsters, right? That's the problem. We could also. Oh, that's way better, right? We can just do. We do. We go for the um, for the Plation here, because the Plation could get rid of one Shangri Ira. The birth, because we need to get rid of the birth, that's for sure. Because I could summon the Diameter now. L let's summon the Diameter here, um, and then, then we can think about this. I obviously... And we have to negate with the Diameter as well. That would not be the worst. Okay, he goes Imperm on this. Do we get rid of our Lingo Ribu for that? I mean... Let's do it because a Cybers level 4 is more useful to us than a Link 1. By the way, we have 20 minutes time to play this out, so it should be enough. We started at 5 after 7 and we have, have enough time, I guess. So how many Exco Talker things could we potentially do? I think the Laplation is better, right? Well, we, could also, we could also just firstly make the Alum version and then... The circular and then the Laplacian afterwards. The problem is then we can't get rid of a Fenrir. I I I definitely want the Alum version, I think. I want the search. I want the search. Because we can also get Alum version to the grave and resummon a Math Mac, and then we can trigger Circular's effect. We only have to Think about that if we activate circular, we can only activate one more. Uh, we can only attack with one uh, guy this this round. But that's okay, I think. So 
Let's let's send a Sigma. I know we cannot use it this turn, but maybe for follow-up if that happens, if that ever happens. And the, what we could do now is we could get rid of the Alum version. Let's do that. And could resummon the diameter. This triggers our circular, and now we can decide whether we. I think we take this one here. And then we are go we now go for the Plation to get rid of two of these. Um let's let's do the Plation now. It does not really matter which ones we use here. The only thing that is annoying about the Laplation is that we cannot attack over something. We do have to continue with. We can go into an Access Code Talker in the end. So we're getting rid of the Birth. And we're getting rid of the Shangri Arrow with the more with the most material, right? That makes sense. And then the birth. Okay. <sighs> now. Now we do. Wait. We have to check. Link the quarter zone is to the bottom. Okay. So we do this. Um, and then we do revive. Um, and then splash mage. Revive. Doesn't matter which one. So we can go into splash. Flash mage with these, and then we can go into Transco Talker. The problem is that we are, we are giving away our all of our follow up right now, right? Obviously, we we resum something. Um, let's take the. Well, does it matter? Does this matter? It could matter, so I'm not taking because um, the um, update update jammer that we uh, potentially want to use uh, has very specific summoning conditions, so we cannot just use an X Y Z. Otherwise, obviously, getting the XYZ would make more sense. And we can now summon the Link Decoder back. As you can see, we get a lot of materials here. So, and mm, I have the problem now that I can't, I can't make the update jammer. So maybe that was a mistake then. Um, okay. Think this one could also uh, spin this one back into the extra deck, right? Because we have an XYZ in the grave. Oh, this is not that bad. Though then we cannot... Or we could also wait. This gets against for each monster at points too. So if we get this one on the field and then summon something in the other zone, it can overrun this. And we can draw cards. We can also just go into the access code talk. I mean, the access code talk makes sense, I think, because... Um, let's just do it like this. The Exit Code Talker makes sense because we can destroy something now. Um, oh, we don't have a lot of time. We can also go for the G uh, Crystal Golem guy. So we target this and then we can get rid of... Let's start... We have, we have one attack. We have to remember this. We can get rid of a Dark. And now let's get rid of this one here. And what do we have here? We, had a, uh, we have the Earth. The Earth we don't want to use right now. We, we need to get this into the grave. Um, so let's make a G Golem. Or, or do we want to make a G Golem crystal? We could also just make an Heat Soul. Because we can draw cards then. That's very impactful, right? Um, okay, we have 10, 10 minutes left, so time will not be affected. So we can draw two times. So it's very. Or the Rune Rock, but it's definitely not bad. And now we can banish this one. It can destroy. Uh, he can protect this, obviously, but we can still attack. Question is. How important is the damage that we can do here? Um, I th we can because we can banish the the, the transcode talker now, just to make five three attack damage. I think it does not matter, so we will just attack. Yeah, what could we what could we do? No, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, nice. Then uh, let's just put this on on, and then I don't know. We have a drone lockbird. We have. I mean, he has some one-card combos that we cannot do something against, right? Like a Kashira Birth or a Unicorn. There, there, there is some stuff. Oh, 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 wait. I just want to... Do I want to throw this? I actually do, because if they, he has a Kashira monster, then... And, I mean, we can... Oh, we have caught by it. That's right. Forgot this. I mean, it, it's whatever. We, we, had a, we had a nice... We, have, we, have, we had a nice comeback here. It's cool. Let, let him have it if he, if he has it. Okay. It does not seem to be the case, but we have to see. This could be a lot of things, right? Small world. Small world is nice. So this is game, right? Um, it is. Do we just... Okay, We of course, we, we draw first. Maybe this is like Kashira Reborn stuff. I think we normal summon here. And we can now... Let's force this. Uh, 
Nice one. And then it's done. Awesome. This looked bad, but we got it. Nice. So I'm going to report that we won in the Discord and then we are going to see each other in the next round, guys. Alrighty, guys, we have the second round against Raid Raptor, which is someone I do not know. Um, this is a funny thing. Uh, also, if I uh, go, so we have like a half an, a minute to to the next round. Hide on Bash, TDE, hee hee. Uh, a lot of these guys, Prada, uh, Anton, Mars... You feel rage, winter might, Ohimi, or oh, this one. This was one I uh, battled in the final of a uh, 46 player cup, and he um, kicked me out with Dragon Link. I remember this. So that's also cool. A lot of people here are, uh, are regular um, participants of the tournaments who, uh, over the time, you know the players and you also write with them on Discord. So that's quite nice. Uh, but yeah, Red Raptor, we have to see whether we can uh, win the toy course now. We have. Uh, the starting uh, sign for the round, another 20 minutes, and then we have uh, 45 minutes in best of threes in the in the top cuts, in the playoffs. So, yeah. Nice coin flip one. That's nice. And I mean, the good thing is now that we are... Sorry, I want to say now that we are 2-0. Uh, but if we go to a 2-0, and o, we can then... Could obviously just play uh, the last round as well and then see whether we get there. But I don't know. Let's see. Uh, the hand is... Nice, because we can ash the maxi. And we can also go with small world and uh, try to bait his maxi. I'm just thinking about what we... Oh, we can go to effect Veiler. That's quite nice as follow-up. So this is just for baiting an ash. Then we just get rid of the kaiju and then we can go into effect Veiler via a circular, right? This should work. Could also go into Parallel Exceed. Ooh, that's also interesting. I mean, this is full combo. That's not the point. But if he interrupts us here... All right, let's take the Exceed. Just... This could be the big, full, big, big full combo. Is it... Okay, I, I was thinking about whether he goes to an unlock. But I mean, this brings us farther. There could still be like... An imperm. I mean, there is something obviously. It could be an imperm, could also be an ash, could be a lot of things, honestly. So, this might be able to get us over the line um, if we are getting heavily interrupted here. The effect failure is obviously more uh, better when uh, we pass over to his turn, but that would mean that we can go through this turn without interruption. And I don't think this happens. At some point, there will be something, I guess. <laughs> If not, then this is just full combo, like the fullest combo that you can do with this uh, with this deck. That having a Nibiru is not is not bad because Nibiru is like worst case, worst case. We just blow up the board on his turn if he gets through everything that we want to do. Right? Let's see, Imperm here, Ash here. This is like the yeah okay. I, w I want to say this is like the one of the imp most important points at which you can be interrupted. Okay. Um, in that case, uh, we are very lucky having the Parallax Seed, um, so that was a good idea because now we can... Wait, you can tribute one monster, special summon, uh, tribute one monster... Um, wait... How does this work? Is this a different copy in the grave thing? I can tribute this because... I can tribute this, then this goes to grave, this is cost, and then this should be a different copy in the grave or not oh i'm not sure about this the thing is i need i need a body on the field to um or i could also go normal summon ash and then go into sala well let's we hmm, or i'm i'm not sure how this works no let's let's not risk it i'm i'm not sure if this works uh, let me know in the comments if this should be a different copy in the grave right but i will not risk it i will just go al mirage here this is too risky. I mean, it's really unfortunate that we needed to get rid of the Ash now. That would have been great. Especially because they have, like, Labyrinth. Um, Labyrinth card pack. <laughs> if this is Labyrinth, then Ash is obviously great. I have to try this out. This is unfortunate that I did not know this because it's obviously an important interaction. Um... Uh, the thing is that two cybers monsters. So um, 
Wait. I need to end up on this guy because this uh, on the big on the on the big dragon guy because he brings me he gives me the ability to dump Diameter into the grave and Diameter uh, gives me access to Mathmix Super Factorial. This is why that is important. So we are resummoning here. Um, doesn't really matter which one. I mean, obviously, if he nips is now here, if, if there's a nip also, then we are, it's done. Okay, then we take this one, put it in this zone here. And now we can... I think we should be able to get, also to get into Heat Soul, but we have to see. Heat's also getting into Heat Soul would be amazing. I'm... Oh no, this... Yeah, um, we have to see whether this is enough. I'm... We have to develop this on the fly, because we we have the splash. Yeah, it should this should be enough to go into Hitsu as well, because because we get the splash mage back. We can use this one, this one, this one to go into Big Drake, and Big Drake can then dump Diameter, and then on next turn he can also dump the uh, trap the spell trap negate. So we take this one, go into this guy here, because this one can dump Diameter. The question remains whether we want Diameter now or whether we want to dump the... I think we dump Diameter now and this this makes Heat Soul. So let's do Heat Soul first. And then it's basically... It's the like base combo, you could say. If we would have not been interrupted, we could have gotten into the full combo as well. Give us another Ash. Silent mining doesn't really help us. Okay, then can we can dump the diameter now because then our Mathmax Super Factorial is alive. Awesome. And now we put this on on because then we can draw in this draw phase with our heat soul. We pass this over. And then we draw and then we dump the cybers device worm. And so we also have a spell and trap negate. Um uh, is it a spell and trap? It, it is, right? <laughs> Given the fact that I've played this a lot, it's uh, quite uh, weird that I don't know the effects. But yeah, we are dumping the device worm, and then we we have then it's nice, right? He also only has like five cards only, but yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Um, yeah, the device worm. Let's let's leave this on on. Maybe we draw Maxi that we want to activate. Okay, well, this is follow up. This is this is game. Our hand is game, so we don't. We just need to like survive this turn and. Um, just this is labyrinth, right? Um, let's put this on, on, and I have to think about this for a moment. First thing is, do I want to negate this? I think I do actually, because all the trap cards will not be activatable this turn. Let's let's just negate this first. I'm I'm, I'm seeing something like maybe an Ariana. I I will wait. I will wait for the super factorial at least until. Until he plays at least one monster, maybe an Ariana or something. Okay, there's a Fenrir. Then we will definitely react to the Fenrir. I don't want him to search. I don't want him to activate monster effects. Could still... I still... Oh, this could also be like just Kashira, right? It's good that this goes through. I think we have this, especially because we have the Nibiru as well. The, the Nibiru... Um, if this is Kashira, then the Nibiru is v uh, really valuable. <clears throat> La Placia. Now we also have the negation of La Placian. Doesn't really matter which ones you detach here. This goes... It is... Okay, then it is... Okay, okay. Okay. At two hand cards, that's tough for Labyrinth. That's really tough. Okay, we negate... We definitely negate this because... Oh, yeah, we do. Because um, this negation here will not be there next turn. So if he, we cannot negate like traps, he sets now. So we need to use this now. Yeah, he can bounce this if he wants to, but this will be negated still. This is game. Labyrinth does not come back from this position here. This should this this has to be a, a lady, a big a big big lady. Then he can bounce this. Okay, this is just game. I mean, of course we will. Just draw and draw face with our uh, heat soul just to be safe. But this it has 8,000 attack, man. Just to be safe, right? We can just go battle face. There's nothing that can happen here.
Uh, nice one. Then we are going to the third round. And if we win that, then we are in playoffs. And that's how fast that can be in theory. And then um, if we then win a game or a best of three in playoffs, then we are in the prize pool. Maybe as Bistil, right? That could also be the case. Bistil would save him here. But, I mean, how long? Nice. Awesome, guys. I will see you when we are playing the third round. Alrighty, one minute to go and then we are in the third round against Anton, which I don't know, but I have seen that I think he has... Uh, he was in top four in the tournament, in the uh, 46 uh, tournament yesterday, if I remember that correctly. So, yeah. Should be not the worst player, I guess. Um, yeah, one minute we have to go. I was checking a bit for the decks the other people play, but I'm not remembering Anton's deck, to be honest. So we are keeping with the math, Mac, math uh, going second Turnier. Let's see whether we can win the last one and make it to Top Guard or whether this will be the end of our journey. It's time we will go and start here. Let's, let's, let's try to win the coin flip, right? Coin flip, coin flip, coin flip. Obviously, coin flip is very big, guys. Now let's be real here. Nice one. That's really, really nice. Awesome. Obviously, this does not mean everything. We could get Maxed and don't have an answer. We could get interrupted in different ways. We could brick, though this Mathmac deck rarely ever bricks. And it didn't this time. But we could not dodge a potential Maxi, so mm, let's see. Um, so we will start with this. This hand is a bit weird, to be honest. We will start with the small world here. This hand works. It's just a bit weird. It's not optimal. <laughs> That's that's nice. That's totally fine. We can. That's not a problem. We have everything that we need to continue. And this should be. This is full combo if this goes through. So we go a Sigma of the Sigma is here. Please don't Maxi me here. This Maxi is okay. We can. We cannot do anything against Maxi. Unfortunately. Now the question is whether we want to um, also normal summon a monster. I think we will. And now now it's basically out of our hands. This is definitely the 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 weak part of this deck. Um and we don't have a hand trap, right? So this is like Yeah. I mean this hand the, the hand that we have is enough to kill him next turn. Uh it's enough for access core talk or double attack, but yeah. Okay, this also was Vanquish Soul. Stake your soul. Okay, and he has raised Yeah, this is rough. This is rough. This is really rough. I mean, he might not be able to... Interesting that he put the Raisin in this zone. He might not be able to kill us this turn, though he also might be able to... It really depends with Vanquish Soul, but yeah. Maxi really did us dirty. Okay, he also has a... GR Long. Let's see. Let's just hope that he cannot do the... He probably can, right? He goes for the rock. Gets this back. Geolong effect. Search the trap. Yeah. Our hand was very bad against Maxi and nothing else. And he seems to have full combo. If you can call this full combo <laughs> with Vanquish Soul. Yes. Um, oh, this looks cool in Royal Finish. He's one of these guys having this music thing as a, as a mate. Plays very slow. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay, he has also the Geolong add. So he has the Heavy Burger, he has a Raisin. He has a Rice Heart. And now Trap, I guess. The Trap is really is, is a real big problem. Okay, he goes Caesar values, then he maybe has the Trap already. 
So he has every attribute now. Seems to be the case that he also has another dark monster. This looks bad. This looks really bad. He also has a dark monster. He also has Dr. Madloff. And he has a normal summon left, which he can use for Dr. Madloff grabbing the trap. And then having every attribute in hand. If he... Yeah, though maybe not, right? Maybe, maybe Madloff is his only dark. The, the other problem is that a lot of... As oftentimes, the Vanquished Soul also plays um, Bistials and DD Crows, right? Which is also really bad against me. Small world. Oh, it's unfortunate that the back sea was really dirty. Pantera into Maxi again. <laughs> Which, okay, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, right? And he also has another Earth monster. Crazy. Oh, okay, he does not have another Earth monster. So we are not dying this turn, but phew, he has another Earth monster. Okay, crazy. He has everything. I'm, I imagine that he also has the trap, right? Because so Maxi is Raisin, it's Gialong, there is Borgor, and Dr. Madloff, right? We know five cards out of these six. Maybe there is no trap. Maybe there is no trap. Oh no, this has left the field, right? This is also really bad. This is really bad. I mean, depending on what we draw here, this for example, <laughs> would have been nice now. But now the problem is, can we even, we can't, right? We, one more, no, oh, we could, okay. Yeah, so okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, doesn't really matter which one we choose here. Doesn't really matter. But he has a raisin that he can use. He has this. He has Borger. Doesn't have the, has uh, does not have the trap, which is nice. But that's everything, right? Could also just destroy this now. He does not. Okay, then now we are at least in the Paradox Seed line. Now, where do we want to go, Lingoribo here? Yeah, let's let's go, Lingoribo here. It does not matter for the trap effect, but. Ah. Mirage Cyber is one normal summon with a less attack, okay. Ah, okay, this one also works, I guess, because now he... Yeah, that's right, we cannot summon into the zone if he destroys that. Okay, then we only have Maxi left, we only go into Al Mirage and that's just game. Okay, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that destroying the Lingo Ribo, um yeah, would end this, but it does, unfortunately. Oh, and now we have nothing. We could summon the normal summon the Maxi um, Al Mirage, and then it's okay. It's over. Oh wait, okay. He activates Gialong. Could also we could still draw a Mephic Circular or a Diameter. Both of them would. Or maybe a sign at mining or a small world. On oh, a small world, wouldn't, oh, it's a Diameter. Diameter would work. If he does not destroy this now with his raisin. This if if we get into if we could get these into Alembertion, which I don't think he will let us do, but if we could, then we could still be, Oh, Raisin will also give us another card, by the way. Oh, this is not it's not completely over. So he has the Raisin Destruction left, right? And he has a mad... Okay, here, here comes the Raisin. The Raisin... Oh, I'm so stupid. I should have summoned the Diameter here. Oh, that was so stupid. He could not have summoned the Raisin into these zones, obviously. Oh, man, this would have been... That would have been really big. Oh, that was so stupid. Okay, let's summon this at least in this zone. Oh, that was... That was so stupid. Do we want to ash this? Let me think about this for a moment. So he, he kills this, right? Then we only have this one left on the field. And this, can we cannot do anything. Oh, wh what was my idea here? 
He destroys this and then we can do what exactly? Nothing, right? Oh, this was so idiotic. Oh, I only need just oh this would have worked here here and then we would have had an um, inversion we would have had a negate we would have uh, searched circular and this honestly would have been game i think this would have been game if i just had set this here oh i'm so stupid oh this was so stupid Oh, um, we had this. I think we had this because we know basically know the rest of his cards. I mean, he has Max C, right, that he could have dropped, but now it's over. Oh, fuck. Oh, annoying. That's how it is sometimes. I I, I, I had this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really not used to play into Vanquish, so that's a problem. Oh man. Yeah, this diameter, then we go diameter, we have a negate, we can search circular, circular, um, dump another sigma, and this then is basically game because he only has a walker left to draw. And that's it. And he the max C could could obviously throw the max C and maybe draw into, I don't know, a nip or something. And we would have also have gotten we would have needed to go through a lot of monsters here, so yeah. Yeah, that's it, guys. Unfortunately, um, this how is how it goes sometimes. Though, obviously, this was a misplay on my side. Um, that was not... Um, yeah, that was stupid. Um, but yeah, this was the tournament. The game... Or the game. The, the video ends now. I hope you liked it. Um, I would definitely do more of these because I participate in at least one of these tournaments a week, m mostly in more. And uh, yeah, at least, uh, especially these um, three-round tournaments are quite fun because they don't uh, take up a lot of time. We have started at uh, 7 and now it's 8.13, so one hour and 13 minutes uh, this three rounds has cost us here. Um, there's a small chance because we will not have um, eight people that are three and oh, I have seen this on the thing. Uh, we will have two spots that can still be um, taken by people with two and one records, which I am one of. Um, but there are also a lot of other people with two and one records. It's very unlikely that I will get this, but... I will keep you updated. Maybe we will see another video of me spontaneous being in the top six, uh, top eight, but I don't think so. Uh, thanks for being here. I hope you liked the video. Please consider subscribe and hit the notification bell. We will probably see each other in the next one.